So now I'm going to show you how to fill out the rest of this using the table feature for your calculator. So we're going to do, since this is a parametric function, is x of t and y of t, we're going to, this is where we're really going to use that um, parametric mode in your calculator. So right, if I go to the modes and I go down to here where I've got func and pair and poll, right, this is for function, parametric, polar, and sequence. We will use all of these in this class. Let's start with uh, parametric. And then, so now when I go to my y equals, I have, you know, leftovers from my previous problems. So I'm going to clear that out. But I see how I have x1t, y1t, etc. So I'm going to clear all those out. And then I'm going to go over here to um, this line. Actually, I don't need that line. All right. So um, I'm going to put in these uh, functions that we have: sine of 2t. So sine of 2t. And then the other one is just cosine of t for y, cosine of t. All right. And then uh, before we go to do the table, see how window has above it table set? Whereas if you think about that, like window sets, what are going to be your parameters for graphing? Table set sets, what are going to be your parameters for graphing? All right. So I want the table start to start at, and this is going to tell us where t is starting. So I want t to start at zero. So we'll start at zero. And the t is going up by 0.3 every time. If it wasn't going up by a constant amount, I wouldn't be able to use the table feature unless I was extremely clever. All right, so uh, 0.3 is my delta table. Now I just go second table, and it gives me a table, and we see all the values that I wanted to see. So here's 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Here's 0 0.3, 0 0.6565, 0 0.955. 0 0.6, 0 0.932, 0.825, right? And I can keep going and fill out this whole table, which I'm going to do, but I'm going to pause the video in order to do that. If you haven't tried setting up the table feature, you should try doing that now.